In by Daniels. Good effort. Oh, what a goal that is by Richie. Jaw droppingly brilliant from Matt Richie. And what a start this is for Bournemouth. Eight minutes gone. They lead by two goals to nil. Well, you won't see a better strike this season, Gary. That has absolutely flown into the net. Watch this for a perfect first touch. Ball's cleared from the corner. Great chest. And what about that volley? Stanislas with the deep corner to hell. Stanislas, Bournemouth lead Manchester United. David one, Goliath nil. David De Gea head in hand. Murray and Francis and Distan all in there. And again, it was another poor delivery. She was quick to acknowledge it. Breaks for Smith. What a stunning strike from Adam Smith. His first ever Premier League goal. And it's just given Bournemouth that glimmer of hope with 10 minutes or so remaining. Well, that's a second poor corner, really poor corner from Richie. Only half cleared, but you won't see a better strike than this this season. Daniels. He's got that one nicely into Pew. Great run. Oh, it's a magnificent goal from Pew. Glorious feat, fabulous finish, and Bournemouth the level. We talked about where's the response from Bournemouth. Well, we've just seen it because that's an excellent finish. The Palace will be disappointed, but there was enough players in that central area to come out and make a challenge on Mark Pew. Sat off him, and that's an excellent finish, you know, because Wayne Hennessy's at full stretch here and he's got no chance. It's nestled beautifully in that far corner. Bournemouth haven't committed too many forward. Richie. Now Francis. Stoppage time at the end of the first half. Bournemouth in front. Villa guilty of switching off. Well, you're right, Tony. They did switch off. I've got to say, it's a lovely little routine. They, they try it. They've done it once before. They do a dummy run this time. Then it's Richie who comes. Lovely little black back flick for Francis. Francis then drives it in the near post. What a finish from Cook. Here you see it. Lovely little back flick. Francis takes it. This is a stunning finish. Oh, and a lovely tickle home by Wilson. What a finish that is. And look what it means to him. His longest drought in a Bournemouth shirt is finally over. His first goal in 10, 11 games. Lovely little back heel out. And it had to be something special to beat Ben Foss in the goal today. It's been very good. He's inherited and also assembled Ronald Koeman, very experienced. They'll be tested here by Stanislas! He just loves playing against Everton. That is a fine finish from Junior Stanislas. What a strike that is. And it was coming, wasn't it? They'd had a few warnings, Everton. But a great strike from Stanislas, who just came in off the line and stayed in a pocket. But the finish was exquisite, wasn't it? Stecklenburg had no chance. Fraser. And Cook! Number three makes it 3-3. Three, three. Incredible stuff. That's why we love this league, that's why we watch it. That's why everyone's come out here today just praying for this. Praying for an opportunity, a chance to get back into a game, to get a point off of one of the big teams. It's Fraser again. He stands a brilliant cross up, you know what, and credit Steve Cook. Centre forward's proud of that one, he pulls it out the sky and then hits it. That's a tough skill, that is. Space for Cook. It's coming into range, Steve Cook. Oh, and it's Ake! Oh my goodness. Well, Bournemouth had iced the cake. There is the cherry on the top. That is incredible, absolutely incredible, you know. 
for Eddie Howe and his staff at Bournemouth. They're in dreamland, they can't believe it. Fraser, a phobie. Now King's worked it well! He's missed the penalty, but he's more than made up for it. Wonderfully manufactured goal from Josh King. It's 1-1. It's a bit scrappy, it's bouncing around in there, but nothing scrappy about that. Flicks over Fonsed and fires in in the corner. So that's right foot first over Fonsed. Gets a little bit flat-footed, Font, but that's a good shot across Randolph and into the corner of the net. And they're back level. Well taken goal. Oh, they've won it back again through King. There's so much space here. There's the shot, there's the third goal. Pew with a cracker. It's 3-0 to Bournemouth. Middlesbrough, no threat. For Bournemouth, no sweat. And out to Pew on that left-hand side. Now you've got Shan down the outside, Ayala. Shows him inside on his right foot. Easy pickings, great finish. But surely as a defender, basically show him down the outside. He's a right-footed player. 3-0 Bournemouth. Gosling again. And Charlie Daniels! Oh. That's fabulous! Mm. He'll be talking about that for a generation and more. That was a wonder strike. Well, when the ball came out to him, you thought, where's he going to hit this ball? Mings in the first place, plays the ball forward. When the ball comes out after Gosling crosses, it was well-headed, and Daniels decides to have a go. He keeps his head over the ball, his knee over the ball, and he drives it on the half volley, and Elderson has no chance at all. That is a superb take a bow, Charlie Daniels. Daniels. King. Terrific run by King. Magnificent goal. Josh King makes the breakthrough for Bournemouth. Less than four minutes of the second half played. Everton's huff and puff has come to nothing. Devastating run by King. Defoe and I played their part as well. A thumping finish and Bournemouth take the lead. Holgate dives in, sells himself. The back two drop off and once he gets into this area, he's been absolutely devastating away from home, Josh King. What a noise. Here's Jermaine Defoe. Oh, what a goal! Absolutely staggering. Well, there is vintage Jermaine Defoe. As good as it gets. Well, a goal out of nothing. Again, defenders getting turned around by one ball. But what a finish. Marco Van Basten like. Sits up on the volley and he hook volleys it back over the keeper. What a finish. Malone has been dispossessed. Arta, game over now, surely. A week that started dismally for Harry Arta and the Republic of Ireland has come to life now for Arta and Bournemouth. Huddersfield's resolve is surely broken after Arta dispossessed Malone and went on to claim Bournemouth's third goal. Well, bought it on themselves again, haven't they, Huddersfield? Look at this, he's done the hard work, then loses possession, doesn't know where it is, checks beautifully, bottom corner, job done, or should be. They have got two. Oh, I'm sure they're not. Any way too many. Here's uh, Wilson played through by Ive, and Bournemouth take the lead. They threaten that kind of break in the first half. Right through the centre of Chelsea. Callum Wilson back fit and back on target. He's on a good run. Four and six now in the Premier League. And Eddie Howe, who masterminded a win here the season before last with a goal from Glenn Murray. Stanislas again. It's brilliant. 
It is third time lucky for Junior Stanislas and Bournemouth. A hammer blow for West Bromwich Albion. And Bournemouth within touching distance of safety. Alan Pardew knows the fate is all but assured now. Good try, but uh, it's Lerma who gets it away. Finally, Bournemouth can bring it clear and break with power and purpose, and it's four on two here. If they get it right, it's a chance for Gosling, and they've equalised! Would you believe it? Their first shot of the match. The first time they've been inside the opposition penalty area. Bournemouth the level with one of the most devastating counter-attacks you could wish to see. Well, 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 it's truly unbelievable, isn't it? Totally dominated for 20-odd minutes, Bournemouth. I talked about their capabilities on the counter, the pace and the precision. Lovely one-two. And there's Dan Gosling to rifle it past Angus Gunn. Oh, he's taken that nicely, Wilson, but he's all on his own. Pass one, pass two, brilliant goal! What a majestic solo goal from Callum Wilson! It was him against five defenders. And Wilson, who scored last week, makes it two in two at the start of the season in scintillating style. Well, they started the second half well and they deserve it, but you're right, Gary, look, there's five of them there, all sitting off. Ogbonna, Balbuena, he dives in, overcomes Zabaleta, he dives in, and then across Fabianski, and all the saves that he's made, really he should have made this one because he's gone the wrong way. But there you go, all sitting off, first Balbuena dives in, then Zabaleta, and he goes across Fabianski, and he goes for his legs. He saved all those goals low down, and the one straight at him goes straight through him. But what a finish. Down by a combination of King and Adam Smith. And Bournemouth now look to counter quickly. King. Lewis Cook in the middle. Joined by Wilson. It's Wilson. What a wonderful save. And Brooks is following up. Bournemouth will not be denied. And having scored against Crystal Palace on Monday, David Brooks makes it 2-2. Two two. Breathtaking counter-attack by Bournemouth. After Watford was suggesting there was a handball on the edge of the Bournemouth penalty area. Oh, let's not take it away from Bournemouth, it's a great break and a great goal. King down the left-hand side, goes down really well and you can see they've got the numbers arriving late on. Wilson on the far post, picks him out, great save Foster, comes back to Brooks and that's a nice calm finish. Really quick break from Bournemouth after Watford have been on top for most of this game so far. But a good finish from Brooks in the end, great break. And that's the pace of Eddie Howe's team on the break. No one could get on the end of it for West Ham, and Fraser has got that pass to up. King in the middle. Is it going to fall to? Wilson! What a spectacular finish from Callum Wilson! And that's why clubs like West Ham are ready to big big money for that striker he smashed Bournemouth into the lead with his 10th Premier League goal of the season and as it sits up here you've got to compose yourself let it come across you and that's a brilliant volley absolutely stunning movement in the area Brooks with a header Oh, I say. Second goal for David Brooks. Not sure if he's even looking at the goal when he flicked it. It was more instinct than anything else. And that surely now does for 10 men Brighton. Well, I talked just a few moments ago about Ryan Fraser and these teammates knowing exactly what he's all about. And just thinks it in. It's got some swerve that's... Loads of practice, as you said, instinct finish from David Brooks and just loops over goalkeeper Matthew Ryan. There to be attacked again. Ake is there! And he may just have won the game for Bournemouth in stoppage time. The nine men have succumbed right at the death. 
And it could be a real blow to Spurs top four challenge this season. They hung on for so long, but Bournemouth through Ake have found a way through. Jefferson Lerma. Oh, why not have a go? And what a go it was! A scorcher in the Selhurst sunshine. Outstanding from Jefferson Lerma. Only one thought in his head, touch out of his feet, and he fizzes it right in off the crossbar. Decent attempt, more than a decent attempt. A stunning goal from Harry Wilson. What a way to mark his home debut. Two and two for him. Bournemouth back in the game in first half stoppage time with one that he will never forget. Fraser, now Smith, it's King, trying to bring it down, brilliantly taken, absolutely superbly finished by Josh King, but there'll be a big inquest in the Manchester United penalty area about how he had as much time as that. The United old boy back to haunt them and Bournemouth will take a half-time lead. I thought when this ball initially came in, he's got to head it first time, he won't have time to bring it down. He does exactly that and smashes it past David De Gea. Excellent technique. Does well to protect the ball initially. Works it for himself. Smashes it into the goal to give Bournemouth the lead just before half time. Oh, that's a magnificent strike from Harry Wilson. Oh, what a beauty. Bournemouth have a goal, their first ever away at Spurs. Well, that's a lovely clip from Harry Wilson. Real lovely clip. That's that's not an easy skill from that distance. And he makes it look easy. Look, just outside the D, over the wall. Gazaniga gives him far too much room, really. But it's a lovely clip, lovely little bit of technique. Only two strides into the ball, and that's enough to get the power up and down and over that wall and into the back of the net. Here comes the corner. Oh, Gosling's in there. Hoiked away by Aspilicueta. No flag. Gosling! Oh, is it in? No, the flag's up. The flag is up for offside. And the celebrations are cut short. It's given. Goal for Bournemouth. Would you believe it? Dan Gosling with his first goal of the season. And could they do it at Stamford Bridge once again? Well, it's the second phase of the corner kick. Gets cleared. Chelsea come up, but they're slow to come up together. And as they are, Mason Mount plays Dan Gosling onside. Adam Smith to deliver in towards uh, Solanke. Will come for Stanislas. King's in the middle. Continue Stanislas again, oh he's done brilliantly here! And has somehow squeezed it in! Well it's stunning from Stanislas! And it is relegation battling Bournemouth who lead at Champions League chasing Manchester United. Brilliantly taken goal. That expression tells the story though. But I love the skill on Maguire, the little nutmegs to come inside him and then you're thinking well De Gea will stop it because the angle's against him and yet somehow he deceives the Spaniard to actually find the back of the net and I think Manchester United at this moment in time are truly stunned but credit to Bournemouth because they have a counter-attacking plan also. Tavernier, Billing, for Kelly. Straight back in towards Moore! <laughs> Kiefer Moore, the man whose goal brought Bournemouth back to the big time, might well have got them off to a winning start here. A towering header to make it 2-0 to 
well to Bournemouth. A really good header as well. Good cross by Billing, who's cut back on his left foot on this near side. Curled it in, but really anything in the air today. They have been soft as anything, Aston Villa, in both penalty errors. Of course, the first goal came from the corner, and the second goal is a really a free header.